What's up, everybody? This is Zach EK, Zach EK. I am Zach EK, Le Frenzy on PlayStation 5, French Big Z in French, Super French Big Z in Japanese, creator of Jetlag Radio, the number one podcast in the world for electronics, dance music, and other subject and other genres, as other podcasts that I have, such as Omega Radio, my hip hop uh, podcast. You can vote for me at the DJ Mag uh, uh, magazine right now. Go to djmag.com and vote for. Zaki Kiyomi, my name is Zaki Kiyomi, officially, Z-A-K-I, last name is Kiyomi, Q-A-Y-O-U-M-I, and um, I hope to have your vote so I can be featured in the DJ Mag uh, magazine, I look forward to it. Uh, I'm also the creator of Zagla Coffee, that's Z-A-K-I, that's U-F-F-E, uh, let's drink some coffee here, I've already had a bunch of coffee, so let me drink a little bit more over here, but uh, yes, okay, let's just get right into it, uh, yes, I'm going to do my best to do a full show later this weekend, uh, you know, Dignation style, where I just grab my other laptop and just start reading um, what it is that I work on, and uh, you know, like a, a particular uh, content curation update for that particular day or particular week. Uh, I'll work. I'll get to that uh, eventually. But um, anyway, I just wanted to do this quick video because a couple of people asked me for a quick update. So there's there's one. Right now, I'm watching the Olympics on the DVR. Thank you guys at uh, NBC Olympics, NBC Sports, NBC. Uh, channel and NBC News, NBC Universal, and uh, Peacock for letting us watch this stuff on the DVR. It's much appreciated. You can see a bunch of sports at the same time right now. It seems that we have some, uh, what we got here? We got some kickboxing. We got some uh, taekwondo, possibly. We have some, uh, um, I think it's 4x4 four four relay. And we have uh, some swimming. And we have uh, a commercial for... Uh, good old uh, Snoop Dogg and Reba. Reba, I don't know if you guys have ever watched Reba. I love Reba. I'm not big on on country music, but uh, I I really like her voice in her in her in her music. And I'm actually uh, planning on watching her TV show now that it's on on Netflix. Now you might be asking, how in the fuck do you have time to watch this Reba? You have so much to do. Well, the reason why I have so much some time to do and why I do some Netflix and Netflix and chill is the reason being I do not have a salary. I don't have a salary. I don't have a paycheck. There's no paycheck coming in. So right now I basically just get to do as I please when I want because that there's no salary. If there's no, if no someone give, does not give me an actual paycheck, I basically work at my own leisure. You're familiar with the word leisure. That's why it's called leisure. So I work when I want and I keep working when I get a little bit of, uh, of funding. And the, the funding that I get is a very small amount. It's about $500 a month or less than that, $400 from my father. And then I get some funding from my wife who's helped me pay with some of the credit card bills. So as you can see with the the lack of a, you know, what do you guys make in, in technology uh, per year? When you make uh, 60,000 a year or you make 80,000 a year or you make, you know, someone who is um, of uh, my current standard uh, of a tenure. I'm a project manager now. I used to be a business analyst. Now I'm a project manager. Some of you project managers make about uh, 80,000. You make uh, 120,000. Some of you make 150,000. Some of you senior project manager make 180,000. Some of you are between the, uh, are 180 to 300,000 a year. Well, right now my, my salary as uh, someone who gets like about $500 a, a month is about less than $6,000 a year. So uh, as you can see, a poor person, a poor person makes uh, the poverty line is considered twenty thousand dollars a year, and I make I have like six thousand dollars a year. So do you understand my frustration? While you were just all looking at these videos, like, what's he talking about? It's not important. It's not important. Look, my work is very valuable, and I proved it. That's why I was patiently writing on the blog. Zach like coffee. Zach like coffee. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. No one was checking it out. So then I changed. The numbers, as you know, I made more than 1,200 blog posts. So then I started putting the date. And all I had to do was change the those logos to a piece of a computer or a piece of, or a coffee. Because that's how many coffees I've had um, every time I've been writing this stuff. I've been writing this stuff for, for a lot. If you add all those words that's on that website, it's over 2 million words. There's a lot of analysis. I've been talking about electronic music. I've been talking about um, foreign affairs. Les affaires étrangères. And I've been talking about various other topics, including technology. I've been talking about uh, everything that has to do with futuristic technology, like uh, superintelligence, uh, quantum. And I've been talking about current technology, well, with all these chips that keeps going faster and faster. And my greatest uh, hashtag, one of my hashtags is Geeks for Geeks. Geeks for Geeks, all of us who are a little bit tired of everyone arguing and getting to uh, battles because we just love video games and we love uh, everything technology and the reason why my back hurts like this is a great 
preference of what? Metal Gear Solid 4, which will be released on Metal Gear Volume 2 later this couple of months or year by Konami. Of course, we got to play Metal Gear Solid Volume 1 with 1, 2, and 3 included. Uh, malheureusement, or unfortunately, we didn't get to play them in Japanese, so we have to wait until uh, Konami releases those games again with a Japanese patch so we can play them in Japanese because I'm really frustrated that you cannot play those games in Japanese. It was I was really mad, but I have a huge surprise for my fan who fans who love Japan because I love Japan. So the big surprise is, as you can see, uh, I was able to do some live streaming. As you know, I play Cyberpunk 2077 into three languages. I played in English, I played in French, and I played in, the, in Japanese. And the reason being, Cyberpunk 2077 is bigger than you guys think. You think that Cyberpunk 2077 is just a little game that was a little buggy and then it just got this release and they say that nobody's working on it. Well, guess what? Cyberpunk 2077 has to do with the past, the present, and the future. It includes all these languages. English, French, and Japanese. So there's more to Cyberpunk 2077 that you, that you think you might know. The reason why I know this is because a lot of the work that I've done um, on my computers and on uh, on the whiteboard. I've been doing this for, for many, many years, more than, ugh, I want to say, uh, if it is since uh, 2013 or 2012 when I really got into it, when I got some uh, some Pioneer headphones and I started working on Jelly Radio, um, it's been more than 10, 11 years that I've been working on Jelly Radio. I've been working on this for a very long time. And a lot of these podcasts was living hints, leaving lints, uh, hints, storyline, storyline. Storyline for this movie, or for that movie, or for this movie. Every movie that you look at, every music that you listen to, can remind you of some of my stories that I tell through Jelly Radio. Go back in the past. Start listening to all these podcasts. There's so many podcasts that inspire all these great movies and music, and even more, comic books, animes, all this stuff. So thanks to the firepower of Jetlag Radio in the future, there'll be more of that stuff. If we were able to do some great... You saw how Cyberpunk was. Eh, it was muff. It was good. You saw how Phantom Liberty was. Even much better than the regular Cyberpunk to this end. What does that mean? If, if Phantom Liberty was way better than Cyberpunk to this end, what the hell do you think that the sequel, Project Orion, is going to look like? What do you think that the third installment, which completes the trilogy, is going to look like? What do you think the prequel is going to look like? What do you think those future DLCs are going to look like? They're going to look amazing. And that stuff I kept talking about where everyone was just laughing, it is going to happen. We're going to make the damn Cyberpunk 2077 metaverse. We are going to make the metaverse. I've talked to people. I know people are interested. They want to see that happen. You made fun of all those dorks who were playing on EverQuest 2 way back in the days. Well, imagine a freaking world around the planet where everyone can log in and dress up as Cyberpunk 2077 with the avatars, with the, the gear and all this stuff and the and their upgrades and all that, and have the ability to chat with one another, to talk to one another, to have video calls with one another. You remember that scene when you play Cyberpunk 2077 and you get a phone call? Well, imagine you're inside Cyberpunk 2077 and you get a call from your friend inside Cyberpunk 2077. And you're able to send a text message inside Cyberpunk 2077. And you can go together and do missions together. And you can get on your super bike or you can get into your car together. Or you can do street racing together. You can go on another adventures together with different options as to what the story will be. Cyberpunk 27, you, we basically just, we've only, you know, as the expression some, some people say, like tip of the iceberg, well, some other expressions are, you know, we've only scratched the surface. You really have... Uh, sorry, my back. Metal Gear Solid 4 metaphor. Uh, don't worry. There's, there's a lot that's going to be happening into the future, and you guys need to get excited, but you need to also understand that we have to work on it. Look, I understand. I'm really thrilled that uh, CD Projekt Red's got an office in Boston. That's great, in Boston. But, uh, you know... I can't go to Boston now, and the reason being now we're living in the, in the present, we don't live in the past, uh, you know, I can't move to Boston anymore. In the, in the past, maybe I could have moved to Boston, but now I, I live in the present, and the future is in front of us, so I have to have something 
on the West Coast. It has to be on the West Coast, so we need some kind of office for CD Projekt Red in San Francisco or in Los Angeles or hell, come to Central Valley, California. Just open up a goddamn building right here. That's what we're gonna have to do. Um, anyway, that's for uh, Cyberpunk 2077 and uh, there'll be more on Cyberpunk 2077. But as you can see, I get to play in Japanese now. It's it's very cool, it's very amazing. And then the, uh, the cool uh, um, surprise is yes, we're gonna play Metal Gear Solid 5 in Japanese. In Japanese. We're gonna play Ground Zeroes and then we're gonna play Metal Gear Solid 5 in Japanese. I'm very excited about that. Uh, the voiceover actor, uh, Aki Saito, I know his, his nickname is a little bit something else, but I've loved that voice for more than almost 20 or 30 years and he has such an amazing voice. He's even featured in other games and I never got a chance to play it as him because they never released him in Japanese in the US, USA uh, side. And it was making me very sad because I love that voice and I've heard that voice in all the trailers and all the uh, interviews and all this and that. And we never got to play as him because freaking Konami USA never released uh, the Japanese version in, uh, in USA. So that's, uh, that's one that was very cool. We're gonna get to uh, play Metal Gear Solid 5 in Japanese. So I'm very excited about that and I will live stream it. I, I presume the live streaming option works and I'll be able to live stream. And then we have uh, bigger problems because uh, we thought that, um, yeah, Death Stranding 2 is going to be a very uh, great game and very difficult boss battle. And I'm still doing the live stream on that. That's very important. And uh, I love to live stream it for folks who are very intrigued by the story but uh, are basically uh, terrible at video games. And they, they, they would never be able to, to defeat that uh, monster Higgs. But I can because I've, I'm, uh, I have some great skills. But uh, later on, guys, we have bigger problems. I have to do it. Uh, remember Zone of the Enders, second runner? We have to defeat Anubis. We have to defeat Anubis in Japanese. In Japanese. Poss quite possibly the most dangerous boss battle ever. Ever! We can't even do it with a regular controller. In order to defeat the, uh, Anubis, you have to do it with a dual edge controller. You need a dual edge controller with a, with a paddle shift over here to defeat Anubis. That's the only way you can do it. That he's that strong. Okay, so as you can see, we're gonna play some uh, some of these games in Japanese. And I'm really excited about that. Um, it's uh, it's the month of August. So we got some cool new books on the book club. Uh, obviously, we got Dragon Ball Z and uh, Great Teacher Onizuka, but we have obviously uh, we have uh, Gundam. We have Gundam over here. Gundam, huge Gundam Volume Nine. Very excited about Gundam Volume Volume Nine. It's gonna be great. So uh, be sure to check that out. As you know, there's plenty more Gundam. Uh, uh, anime and manga and all this stuff to go as you can see. Yeah, never had the chance to enjoy a lot of these uh, Gundam anime and, and manga because uh, I was into the world of Fumo Panic. Fumo Panic, that was my that was my bread and butter. That's what I loved. You know, Black Technology, Lambda Driver, Mithril, Sagara Sosuke, Chidori, Kaname Chidori, Testarosa. That's the characters that I know. And, you know, the good friend... Uh, the good friend who's uh, who's blonde, I'm not gonna make fun of him. He's gonna be really he's probably gonna sh shoot at me if I forget his name. Kurtz, Kurtz Weber, Kurtz Weber, and Cluzo, and many other, including Mao. But um, listen, guys, I'm I'm working very hard with Japan. I'm trying to get them to release. As you've seen, Full Metal Panic, um, Invisible Victory. So I'm trying to get them to release Full Metal Panic, Invisible v Victory 2, the sequel. Remember that uh, Kaname Chidori, spoilers, 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 spoilers. She was, uh, she was a hostage and then she was taken by uh, someone, you know, one of the main characters, you know, uh, who's uh, in involved in Mithril and the other one, but... You know, there's a lot that goes on behind this. Um, she's hostage and she's like gone and, and um, Sagara Sosuke is on his radio and basically said he's, he's getting really upset and just saying, look, he's going to just go through the throughout the planet. He might even go to different planets and satellites and dimensions and galaxies just to find this damn woman. And uh, he's going to do his best to find her. So we have to get uh, 
the sequel, which is uh, Invisible Victory 2, which is a sequel. Some of the cutscenes are available in the game. You have to play the game to see those cutscenes. I'm playing the game, and the game is hard as hell. It's hard as hell. I'm, I'm towards the end. I think I'm on mission uh, 20 or uh, 19 or 21, mission 21. We have to defeat Sabina. Sabina is pain in the ass. I cannot defeat her. I'm trying my best. There's like uh, there's like 20 some people from Amalgam, and then there's just Sagara Sosuke and the uh, Cluzo and Mao over here, and Kurt Weber is, is pretty much hurt or something, and we cannot seem to, to, to defeat this damn woman. So I'm, I'm still doing my best. Um, uh, so here's that. Um, uh, Quantum, Intel Quantum updates, no longer a joke. Listen, guys, I, I need to get back in my Twitter. I've called the FBI. I need to get back in my main uh, Twitter account. It's uh, I am Zaki, I am Zaki. Uh, so if. Uh, uh, the Bureau cannot uh, force uh, Twitter to take care of this, and Twitter is trying to hide and get to uh, San Jose and then just casually go to uh, back to Texas, then we'll have to call the Interpol. We'll have to call Interpol because I really need to get back in that, in that Twitter account because it's for like an emergency system. You know, sometimes a lot of people don't know much about Twitter and stuff, and they just, well, we don't know anything. Let's just go to the I, I am Zachy and just see what the hell he's saying. And then I can, you know, retweet stuff about... Uh, um, uh, you know when it's when it's those weekends where we want to make sure that everyone wears their seat belts or there's DUI checkpoints for from CHP or if it's uh, California fires and then Cal fires so you retweet what Cal fire or if it's uh, um, NWS which is the weather system uh, where uh, there's a there's a tornado somewhere or this and that those alerts those retweets are very important they're very important if I don't do those retweets guess what a lot of people that are on these platforms they don't know shit about all these accounts. They don't know anything about them. They rely on people like myself to tweet about them so that they know. I know the joke before it was for many years. Hi, oh, some kind of parody, some kind of parody. He's just retweeting everything, he's retweeting everything. The work that I did on Twitter was very important. I've done it since like 2009. I've been on Twitter, I did like more than like, uh, I don't even remember how many tweets I've done. I think it was more than, uh, what was it, over 80,000 tweets or more than like that? So I need to get back on that account, and I'm really upset that I was not able to stay on there because um, there were literally MAGA called people working at IT and at Twitter in San Francisco. That's how dangerous it is. I'm trying to get back in my account, and the growth, the AI from from uh, Twitter was not letting me go back in there. So as you can see, I am basically, as a metaphors, I am uh, uh, Jehudi over here from some of the Enders, and Grok is kind of turning into Anubis over here. That's how dangerous it is in terms of metaphors. Now, if you don't know what that means, go ahead and watch the trailer for um, go ahead and watch the trailer for um, Zone of the Enders 2, this Mars the Second Runner in English, and say, oh, this is kind of hard. And then look at it in Japanese. Look how much harder it is. That's what I'm dealing with over here. I have to get back in there because of algorithms, because of updates and this and that. The the computer that I'm, you know, kind of like talk to, you know when you make updates in AI and machine learning and all this and that. Well, the computer understand when I make an update. So when I say, okay, this is a news from local news. This is a news from The Economist. This is a news from uh, TechCrunch. This is a news from this website. This is a news from this website. So when I don't do an update in a while, you know how they say machine learning right now is the mentality of like a five-year-old? They get upset. You know, like when a five-year-old gets upset, well, now the goddamn Grok or the computer, the, the AI computer there is getting very, very upset because I haven't made an update on I am Zaki at Twitter. So I said, I really told people, look, listen, guys, I have to make an update. I have to make an update. It's really important. Something's just going to break up or go bad. So then it was it was like a, a week I didn't uh, tweet. I didn't get to tweet. Then it was like a month I didn't get to tweet. Then it was th three months I didn't get to tweet. And worse and worse and worse, the, all these uh, programs and all this and that, just everything just started to get worse and worse and worse, literally. And I warned people. I said I need to go in there and make just a goddamn update. Just like we do software patch. Just like we make an update on Windows 11 or Mac OS or Linux. And if we don't do that update, those computers just start, you know, system failure. Well, guess what? Now Twitter, Grok, if I don't make that update, Twitter is doing a system failure now. And how dangerous is that? I specifically told you guys, if we do not... If we not make Twitter.gov, look what can happen. Right now, Twitter is in the possession of Elon Musk. 
who spent $44 billion and he doesn't even care that it's worth, it is not worth that much. Do you know why? Because he's using that platform. Twitter is as strong as Facebook, as Facebook. You know, Facebook is a big platform from Mark Zuckerberg. Well, do you realize that my beloved magazine that is read by smart people, people that are in, uh, who are very intellectuals, guess what they're doing? They're, they're looking at the numbers and even them, even though I love the goddamn magazine, The Economist, that's my favorite goddamn magazine, The Economist Intelligence Unit is predicting that Trump is going to win this fucking election. Is that what you guys want? No, it is not. It's not what I want. Do you think Biden, when he looks at this video, when I upload it, thankfully for the power of the cloud, I'm sure he's watching it right now. Do you think Biden is going to be happy to see that uh, uh, we're going to lose Twitter four months before the election? He's not going to be happy. A lot of Russian election interference in America was done last time around. And that's how that Hillary lost the election. Do you want election interference again just a couple of months before November? Do you want right before November that no one gets to be on Twitter and Facebook and just says, oh, well, I don't know who the fuck this Tim Waltz is. Let me, let's just vote for Trump because I know what that name is. Is that what you want? That's very dangerous stuff. It's very important for the Democrats to continue their presence on the Twitter platform between now and November 2024. Very important. We need to stay on these platforms. We need to keep advertising, and it's very important. What do you think? What do you think uh, Elon Musk is doing right now? Where he's remove, he wants to remove replies, retweets, and likes. You know exactly what he's doing. He's trying to prevent people in a Democratic Party when they do a tweet and they get like millions of retweets. He's trying to prevent them from doing that, where they can reach everyone that's connected, so that they would know. Okay, we got to vote for Tim Waltz. And we have to vote from Kamala Harris. So listen, goddammit. When I say something, it's really important. It really is. You didn't think it was important? Oh, well, guess what? How many people just left Intel Corp right now? They just left like 18,000 people because they didn't know what, they were, what the fuck they were doing. They were doing, they were just, uh, they were just, uh, you know, claiming someone else's work and they got in trouble. Don't worry, I have a job for them. Not, maybe not monetary, but they have a job to do now. There's 18,000 of them. Um, look, the reason why those people are gone is because they're not doing anything. They're not doing any sort of updates. They were basically uh, co coasting on the work of others. Others like myself who've been working for 25 years, including the six, past six years without getting paid, and it's getting really frustrating. I told you guys, I need a paycheck, I need a paycheck, no one wanted to help. So I incorporated, I made my own corporation, Sack Technology LLC, and I am, you know, working on my startup. I literally have a startup now. I'm a, I'm a founder, CEO, and senior project manager. And I'm working. And I'm making posting updates, and I put them on LinkedIn. And basically, I didn't put them on LinkedIn for a while, and basically everything was starting to crash. And I put them on LinkedIn again, I say, it's very important. And then all of a sudden, people are like, oh, okay, you said it's important, we're going to take care of this. The people that are at Intel scared for their lives they lost their jobs. Okay, that's a great reality check. Now you understand what it was like for me busting my ass off for the past six years without no paycheck and it was giving me a heart attack at the point because I had no paycheck. But right now, there's 18,000 of, 18, of you guys. You have your servants from uh, Intel Corp or whatever for the next six months. So I suggest this is what you do for the next six months. We're about to lose the goddamn country again to the whole goddamn Trump morons over here. Uh, so I suggest you guys start volunteering and work for the, the Democratic campaign throughout the country. Go ahead and volunteer and pick up a, a little, uh, uh, not a notebook, but some kind, some kind of goddamn uh, clipboard. Pick up a goddamn clipboard and go help this election. Because trust me, if Trump wins this election, it's going to be a whole lot worse. And I don't have time for anyone who's complaining because I know what it was like not to get a paycheck for a long time, for six fucking years. So right now, if you do not want, I know that you guys think that Biden is frail, but if you don't want Biden to grab his iPad and start throw, shoving it down your ass, I suggest you guys get to volunteering between now and in four months so we make sure that Kamala Harris, the vice president, will be the next president of the United States, 47th president, and then Tim Waltz will be the next vice president. Now, they're not my favorite choice. I wanted Gavin Newsom. I wanted Pete Buttigieg. They're a little busy with California. There's a lot going on in California. California fire is going on right now. 
Gavin's a little busy. He's got to consider calling in state of emergency. And the uh, Department of Transportation is going through major upgrades throughout the whole goddamn country. Alex Padilla is senator here in in, uh, in California, but uh, I'm sure he'll be entering uh, the the cabinet in uh, in uh, in the next administration soon. Whether I don't know what he's going to do, but obviously one of one of uh, one of all these major Democrats, someone's going to have to be the fucking uh, chief of staff. One of them is going to have to do that. Someone's going to have to be secretary of state. Someone's going to have to be uh, this and this and that. This is going to have to happen. But right now. Chop, chop. People got to get to work. Seriously. People didn't take me for serious over here because I live in the, a red state. Uh, not a red state, but a red county, all this and that. And people didn't volunteer. They're like, oh, we really got we to hang out with them. We, we just want a minimum. I don't have time for photo ops, okay? Israel, Palestine, I- Ukraine, foreign affairs, uh, nanotechnology, all this technology stuff, finding a cure for cancer, all this and that. There's a lot to do. There's a lot to do, and I'm trying to trying to manage everything here. I'm not gonna put on a goddamn suit and be a superhero, and like uh, put a, and you know. Do, do you need me to just put on, uh, Batman or Spider Man and just remove the mask and just say, with big powers come great responsibility? Is that what you want me to do? I'm gonna have to do it. Every one of you. Do you have to understand that with big powers come great responsibility? And the big powers and great responsibility is four fucking months. Four fucking months. If Trump wins again, I'm not doing another four year of nightmare. I did it from 2016 to 2019. It was the worst. Almost lost the country within three days. The reason why I played the division on the PlayStation from Ubisoft for a couple of minutes is to show you guys, are you, are you curious about that game? Go ahead and play the goddamn game because that's how America was. Uh, from 2016 to 2020, if 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 uh, if Trump would have lasted a little bit longer, that's why I haven't been, especially during during uh, the pandemic and COVID. That's what it could have turned out. It's called metaphors. It's called quantum mechanics and all this and that. The, the really complicated stuff that always puts you guys to sleep, which is why I have to play video games and all different types of difficulties for you guys to comprehend what I'm trying to say. Okay. You always wonder. Oh, Doesn't matter. No need to go to college. I can make can make money doing this and selling shoes, or you know, I can flip this or flip that. Okay, what did I tell you guys? Are you sweating on the weekend? Are you sweating on the weekend? Did you get a college education? Did you get a university education? Get your education. Listen to your parents. Go to college. It will mean a lot more in the future. You'll be able to do things beyond your comprehension. You'll be like, well, how does he do this? How does, is, he, is he a magician? No, I just went to college. I went to university. Yes, it would be fun to do a couple of Naruto signs. I know that some of you guys love it when I do this. But go to college. Get a university education. And while you all laugh in class and don't pay attention and listen to you look at your goddamn phone, when I was in college, I was in class. Maybe I didn't pay attention at first. But when I got in trouble with my grades, I came back. And I made sure to get all A's and B's on all of my classes. And I got a great, um, um, you know, average for my major degree. Maybe not for my overall degree, but for my major. For my major, major is important. For my major, I had a good, uh, you know, average. Major. Okay. Bordel. Sorry for using a French word because you need to understand that. The reason why I cuss in French is because uh, people always think of me as some kind of weak peasant in English, so I have to wait till I speak in French so people can understand what it's like when I'm furious. Um, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, the cool guys at uh, their hero, the hero company. The hero company, be sure to check them out. I already got one of their cool uh, bracelets before uh, with uh, the parachute cord and all this and that, but. Uh, I have another one. This one I like it a lot. It's for a, it's a, it's for, it's kind of as like a some kind of samurai design over here. So be sure to check it out. Very uh, great organization. If you read everything that it says on their uh, uh, their uh, their bracelet, it just says, um, you know, it's you know you know courage, loyalty, um, it, it raises awareness about people who 
who had to make sacrifices because you understand everyone who's uh, who you know is uh, in the military uh, who comes back they basically go through so much turmoil and trials and tribulation and they have a lot of uh, uh, stress they have a lot of stress some of them deal with PTSD trauma and uh, to help them uh, the hero company helps them with the service dog the service dog really helps them tremendously so uh, whether you know a lot of, a lot of them, they don't even like me I'm a Democrat they, they're just a bunch of Republicans but it's a really good cause and those guys really you know as soon as you buy one of these things they immediately pair a service dog with a veteran just like that as soon as you buy one just like that they pair a veteran with a service dog just like that a lot of them also love when I when I live stream uh, uh, Call of Duty uh, Battlefield 2042 and uh, uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Ghost Recon Breakpoint, so I'll make sure to live stream some more of that uh, uh, soon. Um, all right. Okay, so that was this subject. This uh, that subject. I have to get going and, and uh, end this video here because I have to upload it and then I have to um, eventually do a video in French because the French people are waiting for me as well, especially uh, Kid Orsay because, yeah, State Department is starting to pay attention when I get upset, but uh, it's really frustrating. You didn't. I'm still upset, guys. The, the fact that you made fun of these people at uh, the equivalent of a State Department in France, like I'll say, you made fun of those guys because of their French accent, it's not funny. Don't wait for me to start screaming because I have my serious French, I mean, serious American voice because I've been here a while. You know, there's a lot of topics where I'm pissed off and you don't need to, to listen to them and just make fun of them, not pay attention just because... They speak like this. Hey, hey, I'm sorry, sir, but it's uh, very important. I'm sorry, sir. It's very important. Okay, now do you get the understand? You understand the message? It's very important. It's very important. This goddamn Ukraine war is going on for almost 911 days. I suggest we get to some kind of a conclusion or something, or at least some kind of a, you know, calm the situation now, or at least. Look, if Ukraine does big attacks in Russia, unfortunately, they're going to try to do some retaliation. That could be very, that could be very, uh, not gravelous. It just can be very, I guess the word dangerous. It could be very dangerous. And if people do not calm things down, it could tit for tat. You know, we've seen it happen a lot of time. A lot of time. We just got to play it on a chessboard. You gotta play it on the chessboard. Don't, don't go, don't escalate it too much. We were on high alert during July. Ukraine was in, I mean, mad. <sighs> See, you all made fun of uh, Biden for using you the word Ukraine instead of Russia, and then I'm doing the same fucking thing. That's what happens when everyone's so stressed out. Russia was in charge of the UN Security Council throughout the month of July. And everyone was like, this is dangerous, this is dangerous. Everyone's stressed out, everyone's insomniac. And then on the last day, something bad happens in Israel-Palestine and they stopped the whole goddamn, um, they stopped the whole goddamn uh, peace process for a ceasefire. And then uh, over here, uh, Netanyahu's trying to do all this shit and um, uh, trying to uh, jump something else in Lebanon. Seriously. So while everyone is is, is treating Biden like he's, uh, oh, Biden's sleeping, Biden's sleeping. For the last fucking time, Biden is not sleeping. Trump was sleeping. That's the whole reason we're all in this predicament. We didn't do shit. And everyone seems to want to vote for him when he doesn't do anything. Okay? I was being nice. Okay? I was being nice. I basically said, look, just, just get rid of Trump. Trump's a pedophile. I'm, I'm tired of it. Trump Russia, I'm tired of it. I got shit to do. You got shit to do. I'm trying to enjoy cyberpunk. I'm trying to enjoy... Um, you know, hanging out with my French friends. I'm trying to trying to have a beer, uh, watch uh, watch some sports, uh, Champions League or whatever when it's come comes back. So basically, now I have to just say it. Trump 45. Trump has 45 chromosomes. Okay, this is not a joke anymore. You guys are humans with completely developed brains. You cannot have someone with that kind of intellect being president of the United States. Do you want me to do the, to show you the movie? Uh, what was that stupid movie where everyone start putting Gatorade on the field on their uh, grass? Is that what you want in America? Idiocracy? Is this a joke? Do you really think that Trump can look at the, the 
the chairman of armed services and know what he's doing? He doesn't know how to do shit. He can't read. He can't even read one book a year. I read 200 books a year. Do you think he knows what he's doing? He doesn't know shit. You remember that call at 3 o'clock in the morning? He never knew what he was doing. Everybody else was working, he wasn't. So stop this whole 50-50 percentage. He doesn't know what he's doing. Take this election seriously. The fact that the the, the Economist tel- Intelligence Unit wrote a fucking article that said we expect Trump to win in, in 2024. I just want to walk in that office, see who the fuck the 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 um, editor in chief is of uh, the EIU and tell him get the fuck out. That's what I'm going to tell him. I'm going to tell him, go find Simon Batis, get him put put him back in there. Seriously. It's not funny anymore. America has not some kind of game show where you, or a Trump TV show where you just can keep doing it, all this and that. I'm going to repeat this in it. Or I'm going to repeat this again. Tell the goddamn guy who's in charge of the EIU right now, tell him to get the fuck out, go call Simon Baptist, get back to work. You may think that Biden is frail, but just like I like to... Huh, this is funny. He's kind of like the angry translator of Obama. I can do it for Biden too. You see this iPad? I will shove it up your ass if you keep doing these polls of 50-50 for, uh, for Trump. Okay, so right now there's 18,000 people got fired from Intel Corp because they really weren't doing shit. And 15,000 people got fired from Dell because they weren't doing shit. So guess what they're doing? There's 30,000 people out of a job. You don't have nothing to do. Go ahead and pick up a clipboard. Go ahead and do some volunteering for the Democrats. Seriously. It's very important. All right. Okay, great. Um, big shout out to uh, Femdems916. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, ladies. I haven't been able to hang out with you girls or ladies because uh, I've just uh, been very busy just trying to, uh, you know, if you know what, uh, what's that goddamn board game? Jenga. You've all seen Jenga? Okay. Well, right now, Jenga is going to break and fall apart again. Oh, I love Taekwondo. Taekwondo. Some, when I was a kid, I wanted, if, if only I had, if I had the time to lift Taekwondo, it was just amazing. You know, the, you remember Tekken? There was a guy who does Taekwondo in Tekken. He could do this awesome, like, uh, three hit combo it was amazing amazing you, you've got go play some tech and go, go get that guy he does a three hit combo with the tech window it's amazing big shout out to lebron and everybody at team usa for basketball but uh, uh i'm sorry but i will uh, be cheering for uh the men's uh, basketball from the team france and uh and for the women's basketball from Team France. And the reason being because uh, Paris Olympic is in, is in France. And uh, basketball is really de- dear to my heart because of, of many reasons. Um, all right. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, yes, um, I, uh, I tried to play a little bit of uh, uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. But uh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I got stuck. So I'm, I'm trying to look for some walkthrough. And, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to it. So really important. Uh, okay, next topic, and then uh, hopefully I can end the video. Look, uh, I understand that uh, Pat at um, Intel Corp is is in probably uh, used to always laugh, and I guess now he really is having his heart attack or ish. But so it's kind of like what he gets when he keeps thinking that the work that I do or some of us do is in, unimportant. But uh, it's what happened when you treat someone like SpongeBob SquarePants and someone else. Seems to be uh, Mr. Crab collecting all the money. That's going to get burned. That's what's going to happen. Okay. So just to uh, to uh, kind of uh, calm down some of the shareholders and some of the uh, people who believe in uh, uh, Team Intel. So 
Yeah, Intel Corp might be in trouble, but uh, Intel Foundry is a separate entity and will be doing great. The reason being, Intel Foundry works in conjunction with the Department of Defense, and some of it includes some of the, the prototype, which is very important. And then there might be another Intel, which is Intel Redacted. But um, just uh, if you're using an Intel chip, just uh, please understand that uh, the future still looks bright because of things like the um, uh, Lenovo Legion. Lenovo Legion, you know, I, I invested in a Lenovo Legion laptop and uh, I probably will need a Lenovo Legion uh, desktop. We'll need a desktop and the reason being is because I have to run code uh, 24-7. 24-7, I've noticed what happened. Uh, I, I said I would run the code just on the weekends and look what happened. Uh, I skipped a couple weekends, nearly pretty much everything crashed, which shows goes to show to you how important Lenovo Legion and Intel Quantum can be. Really important. Très important. Kind of say very important in Japanese. Totemo Juyona. Intel the quantum, totemo juyona. Okay? Seriously. Very important, très important. Totemo juyona. Totemo juyona. Okay? Narodo? Narodo. You understand? Tu comprends? Intel quantum, very important. Um a big shout out to uh, uh, Sega yeah, RGG Studio and Yakuza games. I'm still playing them. I'm on uh, Yakuza 4. It's amazing. It's a great game. But, uh, okay. So, yeah, I'm holding this. It's very important. Like I said, I'm, uh, I just run it on the weekends, uh, three days, but I have to run it 24-7. So, I don't want to fry this laptop because, uh, you know, that's what happened with my Razer laptop. If you just fry it eventually because uh, just running it all 24-7. Uh, but uh, I need to run a desktop. And you have the cooling fans. And like I said, the magic keyword that all my geeks and geeks were talking about. I have to befriend some of them at the local Best Buy or Best Buy out of town or wherever. Water cooling, water cooling. We have to get, we have to, get to it. We're going to have to get a desktop in here. And we're going we're gonna to have to water cool uh, a goddamn desktop. And uh, as you know, uh, uh, Intel Quantum, it's, it's uh, below zero Kelvin. It's uh, frozen, frozen uh, temperatures to, to run this code. So uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, speaking of Intel, uh, Intel, I said, uh, uh, look, uh, I, I had to say, you know, Pat's starting to piss me off because he didn't understand my, my code, code was important. Uh, good old friend. Uh, let me say his name correctly uh, because uh, I mean, uh, you know, I'm uh, being uh, having a foreign name. I know how annoying it is when someone makes fun of how to say my, my name because it's obviously Zaki Kayumi. So let me see if I can uh, figure out. I can say his name. Uh, without uh, without butchering his, his name. Oh, my God. Brian Matthew Krizanich. Brian Matthew Krizanich. Brian Matthew Krizanich. Brian Matthew as we say in Japanese. So, okay, if uh, if if Pat is still pissed off and uh, understand that he had to do some kind of revalid like who he's, he's working with, well, uh, Brian San, Brian San, uh, Brian Sama, uh, uh, Brian Sensei over here will immediately return and be glad you need some help ah well he was former ceo he will gladly show up and he will he will come over and he will help you out and uh, there's whatever you need to get done he, he'll you know just like i use a whiteboard and well brian brian son will use a whiteboard as well you just say well, you can do this you can do that and uh, quite frankly from what this guy in his portfolio say yeah he, he he's right you know tout à fait raison how do you say he's right in japanese He's definitely right. Okay, you just heard it in Japanese. Okay, he's, 
I'm definitely right because 18 people, 18,000 people got fired. Clearly, I'm, I'm right about something over here. Clearly, Zach.coffee is very important. So stop taking it for granted. Do you want to see an update? Send a check. Like I said, what did I say? Do I want a Ferrari? No, I don't want a Ferrari. I just want to be able, I'm working here for 25 years, six years unpaid. I just need some kind of uh, recall, preferably a German engineering. And I told all four of those guys to quit arguing with this Mercedes-Benz AMG, Mercedes-Benz AMG, Audi Sports, I mean Audi RS, Porsche GT4, and BMW M. I told all those four to stop arguing. I just need one of them. I can't fit all four of them in the goddamn driveway. I just need one. In the future, I will have all of them. Yes. It'd be nice in the future with with the manager and all this and that. Look, right now, I just need a car to go from point A to point B for my commute to to uh, to drive between here and San Francisco, between here and, and uh, Sacramento. It's really important. So you can please tell that goddamn AMG engineer to fuck off for a second because I know he's trying to win this. I got to win this. I got to win this. Look at him. I told you a million times, your, your navigation looks great. It's a really amazing, cool, big screen. But I'm really keen on the uh, Audi navigation. And uh, I really like the uh, BMW navigation events. Um, I don't know if I don't know if I'm some... I like it in some fashion. But the reason being, it was when I used to work at BMW, it was my dream to someday own a BMW. Okay? They asked me, where do you see yourself in five years? Well, I said in five years, I see myself in a goddamn BMW M3 or an M4 or an M5 now. And now, lo and behold, I am the one who spearheaded the petition to bring that vehicle from Germany here. All these enthusiasts of BMW couldn't get that done. I am the one who asked them directly, can you please bring that goddamn wagon vehicle? Wagon wheel, wagon the, the goddamn BMW M5 Touring to America. It's grandiose. It's huge. It's never been seen before. They, could, they, they couldn't get it to come to America stateside. Germany. Look, goddamn it. I'm, I'm, everyone's like, oh, he's such a show off. He's such a show off. He's such a snob. Look. Fuck. When I do some updates for just, you know, NATO, it's not just USA NATO. France NATO, Holland NATO, Germany NATO. Some of these systems are very important. The Germans, they're pretty strong. They're pretty strong. But uh, I told those four, four Germans to just quit arguing because if they keep arguing, like I said, I'm just going to tell the French Alpine, design some goddamn car and bring it over here. So look, we're tired of waiting. It's really important. i got to have some kind of new vehicle it's very important for me to think, to work on Jetlag Radio, to work on my operating system, all this and that. If I don't have it, I'm basically stagnated. Stagnant. Man. So look. BMW M5 Touring, RS6 Vaughn, or the RS7. Nice thing about the RS7 is that it's bulletproof. It's very nice, you know. Very cool uh, Batman car over here. So, look, I really need all these guys to stop arguing like i said it'd be nice to work a lot of people work what do you guys work for what are you worth what do you plan on buying a lot of people what they're trying to buy like women they're trying to buy a new you know like a 700 dollars purse or some shit or some guys what are trying to do they're trying to buy a ps5 or an xbox well look god damn it i'm a little older so i'm trying to buy my first dream car my dream after i've never been able to buy a new car my whole life my whole life i've been trying to buy a new car i haven't been able to 25 years of work. Shit, this is really annoying. So like I said, I need something. I know everyone is going to be surprised. When it's going to be, no, look, we can't, we, have, we can't reveal anything. Listen, fuck, look at the weather outside. I really need a goddamn car as soon as possible. I know everyone's arguing and gambling as to which brand is going to win, which brand is going to win. Is he going to be a spokesperson for this brand? Is he, look, Fuck. It's really important. These jet lag radio updates, they're really important. Crowd strike was not important. That's why Google and Alphabet look at Crowd Strike and said, listen, you fuck, you, you, you don't do shit. They just need a new upgrade from Jet Lag Radio. 
So if a Jedi radio is important, I'm going to need some new kind of transportation. Just like when you go work for a company and you get a company car, well, I need one as well. Seriously. A uh, big shout out to uh, veterans who like to wear red on Fridays. I'll try to wear red on Friday. I'm, uh, whenever you ask me to wear red on Friday, just please remember I go to a high. I went to a high state. That's where I graduated. So, whenever I wear red colors, you know that's that's my that's where I went to, to college, university. And like I said, if everyone no one wants to help me uh, monetary, I'm gonna have to find a way. And I know people have been preventing me to go to Ohio State University. That's why I'm very upset with TTUN. TTUN is my rival school, and they're basically prime suspect number one. I can't afford to go to the Ohio State University in the past 10 years? Really? After all my portfolio? Okay, your goddamn coach is not gonna, gonna be able to coach your football team for this year. So, fuck you. You know, Ohio State has a much better chance to win this, uh, this, this uh, NFL and uh, NCAA uh, uh, football uh, national championship. That's what you get. That's what you get. You th- you really think TTUN should have won that uh, that the championship the other year? Really? You think that you think that Jim whoever is a, is a better coach than the goddamn Ryan in uh, at Ohio State? Are you, are you crazy? Seriously. Okay, guys. Uh, what's the what time are we at? See, very long video, and like I said, none of these goddamn youngsters who are ADHD because of TikTok eight seconds can pay attention. So obviously, people that are a little bit more possessed and the geeks they'll pay attention because the video is, is much longer. So uh, a big shout out to hashtag Geeks for Geeks. We're gonna watch this whole video and be able to to give some kind of summary to your superiors or whoever actually uh you know they really need the the short version but i had to, i had to do this it's very important and uh you know um the short long story short uh go ahead and if you if you're in um uh, if you're a college student nationwide pick up a goddamn clipboard and start volunteering for the kamala harris tim waltz campaign and the next person that tries to make fun of me for being here and not in my office is because if you think that it's fun to be in my office with the stuff I work on, well, basically one day I'm just gonna have to tell you the the answer to is is uh you know if you want to know the tr- the answer to our big questions in life, and then you're gonna have nightmares every time you go to sleep. So is that what you want? Okay, so no more couch jokes. I go in my office when I please, when I want to, because, you know, when people have to work on very complicated things, stuff that, you know, our beloved veterans get like trauma and PTSD, there's stuff about quantum you don't want to know, okay? And eventually, you will get some kind of a gist of it, because we finally convinced Gabe Newell he's going to make a Half-Life version 3. He's going to make Half-Life 3 confirmed. So all these videos of a scared petrified scientist horrified trying to leave some kind of area like Area 51 well you'll see it in Half-Life 3 and then you'll get a gist of it ah oh, I guess I get I can see where he's coming from it is kind of scary nailed can't even enjoy my Paris 2024 Olympics over here I bet everyone in France even Macron's like oh tu dis qu'il même pas les Olympiques Look, give me some time to myself over here. And it's hard to have time to myself when I'm not getting receiving the salary over here. Okay. For you guys who like rap, there's a bunch of new podcasts. Be sure to check them out. And I'll do more podcasts in, uh, in French as well. Uh, uh, French music and rap music. Big shout out to Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre. I'm sorry, Dr. Dre. There's uh, these, uh, whoever whoever uh, started a strangle whole uh, uh, Eminem, I'm going to find that motherfucker. And you know, don't worry about Eminem with his album. The death of Slim Shady. The next album will be uh, Martial Matters three or four, and then after that it will be the rebirth of Slim Shady. There's no problem. No one is gonna 
No one's going to mess with Eminem. I've said it. I'll put my, I'm going to put my foot down right now. Leave Eminem alone, goddammit. Shout out to Dr. Dre. All right. Um, all right, guys. Um, like I said, just a quick uh, update, and uh, we'll... Uh, uh, for you guys who speak French, I'm going to make an update in uh, in French. And uh, you, you might be upset that uh, the English video doesn't um, translate to the French video. And that's different because it's a different audience. My my audience in America is different from my audience in France and uh, Europe. And if you want to uh, understand what the fuck it is that I'm saying in, uh, in French, you know, when you go to school and you pick a foreign language, pick French. French is a wonderful language. France is a great place to visit. I'm trying to visit as much as I can, and I can't because I don't have a goddamn salary. That's why I was upset the past six years, and I'm glad uh, 18,000 people got fired. You know, so I think you got the message now. I need a salary. I need a salary because I need to be able to travel between here and France for work and see my best friends and friends and make more friends, I guess. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I have about 22 subscribers on YouTube and uh, as, as soon as I get a hundred thousand uh, subscribers on YouTube I'll get a plaque and then I'll be able to uh, to get some a paycheck from YouTube so I'm really excited thank you guys for uh, for watching it means a lot and um, please uh, turn on your PlayStation turn on your YouTube and just watch me on, on these video games uh, I'll keep uh, live streaming for you guys no problem and uh, okay I'm wearing my Ohio State uh, uh, pull over here so the moral of the story is that please go to college go to college get an education you don't know where you want to go go to Ohio State go to the Ohio State University it's in Columbus Ohio uh, yes, the weather is terrible from time to time. But it's a really wonderful school. I, I really had a great time there. You really should go there. You don't know you don't know where to go. Go there. It was you learned a lot. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Till next time.